Less than 48 hours before the New Hampshire primary, Ron DeSantis made the unexpected decision to withdraw from the presidential campaign and support competitor Donald Trump. In an unexpected video released on Sunday afternoon, Florida governor, who is regarded as the party's future and was initially the front-runner to unseat Trump, declared he was suspending his campaign. It came after growing rumors that donors were leaving and his team was having trouble narrowing Trump's enormous advantage in the polls. DeSantis's endorsement, according to Trump, is honored, and he urged Republicans to rally behind the former president's 2024 presidential run. DeSantis finished second in the Iowa caucuses and mostly shunned the New Hampshire campaign in order to concentrate on South Carolina, the home state of 2024 contender Nikki Haley. However, the writing was on the wall when the campaign let go of half of its personnel, big money backers grew more and more irate by his assault on wokeness, and top brass started berating one another. In his goodbye video, DeSantis compared Haley to a repackaged form of warmed-up corporatism, channeling Winston Churchill in the process. In closing, he cautioned Republicans against going back to yesteryear and declared his support for Trump, his opponent who has been demeaning and ridiculing him for the past year. In the video that was uploaded on X to announce his withdrawal from the race, DeSantis stated, We don't have a clear path to victory. Therefore, I am halting my campaign as of right now. There are now just two candidates remaining in the Republican primary former President Trump, and his former UN ambassador, Nikki Haley. Haley remarked, I want to say to Ron, he ran a great race on Sunday afternoon during a campaign event in New Hampshire. We wish him well. He's been a good governor. That being said, there are now just one man and one woman remaining. The governor chose to support Trump after constantly criticizing him for declining to participate in debates during the primary season and receiving multiple insults from the former president, who referred to him as Ron De Sanctimonious. During an unexpected visit to his campaign headquarters in New Hampshire, Trump declared that he had officially retired the moniker De Sanctimonious following DeSantis's declaration on Sunday. Throughout the campaign, Trump referred to DeSantis as a traitor for choosing to run for president in 2024, even though DeSantis's backing helped him secure the Republican nomination for Florida governor in 2018. DeSantis stated, It's evident to me that the majority of Republican primary voters wish to give Donald Trump another opportunity. They witness Democrats employing lawfare to attack him today, and they watch as his presidency is stymied by unrelenting resistance. Trump is better than the incumbent Joe Biden, he continued. That much is evident. I promise to uphold my pledge to support the Republican nominee, the signer said. The pledge in question is the one that all candidates were forced to sign in order to participate in the Republican National Committee's RNC four primary debates last year and it was a promise to support the nominee in the end. Trump declined to participate in the debates and never signed the promise. The Trump team released a statement on Sunday afternoon saying, We are honored by the endorsement from Governor Ron DeSantis and so many other former presidential candidates. To defeat crooked Joe Biden and put an end to his disastrous presidency, it is now time for all Republicans to unite behind President Trump. The statement stated, Nikki Haley represents the views of Democrats more so than the views of Republicans. She is the candidate of the globalists and Democrats who will stop at nothing to stop the America First movement. Following his swing on Saturday, there was no announcement on DeSantis's whereabouts. Thus, rumors started to circulate over what would happen on Sunday and Monday before Tuesday's New Hampshire primary. His final 2024 campaign event was held in South Carolina on Saturday,
and it is now known that he returned to Florida, where the announcement of his campaign's end was filmed. Shortly after the video was posted, a directive was issued to postpone DeSantis's Sunday night meet and greet in Manchester, New Hampshire. Sunday, DeSantis's campaign angrily refuted any reports that could surface outlining his intentions to withdraw. Yet, a few hours later, the governor unveiled a video in which he declared his intention to withdraw. In a four-and-a-half-minute video released upon his departure from the campaign, DeSantis stated, Nobody worked harder, and we left it all out on the field. Since finishing in the second place in Iowa, we've prayed and thought about our next steps. I would do more interviews and campaign stops if there was anything I could do to help the situation, he said. However, I am unable to request that our supporters give of their time and money. Seemingly, DeSantis planned to stay in the race through South Carolina, hoping that Haley would perform poorly in her home state and withdraw. Instead, he made the decision to leave before Tuesday's weigh-in from New Hampshire. In a jab at the past president's sole survivor, Nikki Haley, he declared, Trump has my endorsement because we can't go back to the old Republican guard of yesteryear, a repackaged form of warmed-over corporatism. After losing Iowa by a margin of 30 points to Trump, DeSantis spent his last days in the race desperately attempting to determine where his message would be most effective. Even after visiting all 99 counties and getting the support of the state's well-liked Governor Kim Reynolds, DeSantis was still unable to secure a victory in the caucuses on January 15th. DeSantis traveled to Greenville, South Carolina the day after the Iowa caucuses in the hopes that voters there would flip against Nikki Haley and give him an advantage in the fourth primary battle state. Following his brief visit in South Carolina, DeSantis left for New Hampshire and returned later that day. On Wednesday, CBS News revealed that the governor would be leaving the Granite State, maybe permanently, to spend the whole weekend campaigning in South Carolina. But in the end, the trip only lasted one day and involved three things. It ended with headlines about DeSantis's altercation with a fourth-grade teacher over Haley's performance as governor in terms of education. Rather than conducting his campaign in South Carolina on Sunday, DeSantis was anticipated to return to New Hampshire by plane. However, it became evident that there was more going on when appearances on CNN's State of the Union and NBC's Meet the Press were cancelled in the process. A few hours later on Sunday morning, he withdrew from the race and called off the remaining activities.